Alright guys, so not a rant, but something to think about when you're uh, starting your business. And it may it may seem a little overwhelming at first, but and and I know it'll be state dependent on what you would need. Um, so my advice is coming from my experience in my state. Uh, look into getting licensed for pesticide, uh, and in my state, pesticide covers turf and ornamental, um, fertilizer, uh, pesticide is considered anything, uh, even surfactants. But anyway, um, I went my first two seasons without a license, and I never, and I was straight up, straight up about it. Sorry I'm being so weird, I'm on a bad freaking pull out, and people are just timing themselves just right to be a pain in my ass. Um, okay. So I went my first two seasons in business with no license, and I didn't offer pest or weed control. Uh, I did do fertilizing, but I did it with uh, organics. So I, you know, it was a lot of malorganite is what I did. And only a few people were interested in that. And I was straight up, I was asked all the time to do, uh, to spray Roundup or whatever. And I was like, you know, I, I can't. I'm not licensed for it. And I'm not willing to, to take that chance. To, um, to make that application and somebody complain and I get called on it and I get a freaking, I think the low ball fine on that 7500 if you get just the fine. You know, it's whatever else they want to add to it. So anyway, how you do it is how you do it and I don't condemn anybody for rolling the dice on it. I just wasn't will willing to roll the dice. However, I kept having problems freaking with spray guys trying to find somebody I can depend on or that would say yeah I'll show up and take care of your customer and then they actually do it I kept getting people say yeah I'll show up and then they not do it so my third season I was tired of it I said you know what I'm gonna go get my license so I put quite a bit of money into it I did uh took a two-day prep class and then I took you know the test passed it so now I'm licensed for uh, sorry just watching some kids do stuff um, so I'm licensed for fertilizer now and weed control if you guys are thinking about it if you guys are serious about getting into the lawn care my advice is just do it do it right from the jump if you have the money to to do it my test was not expensive the expensive part of my license was the two-day prep class and the license itself um, but taking the test wasn't expensive um, but it's uh, it's definitely the way to go as far as guys aren't going. Kids freaking waiting for them to cross the street and they're just stupid reading their damn phones instead of crossing the screw it or running some people over. Sorry. Hey, got a rant. So, <clears throat> I got my license, my third season. It's worth it right from the holy shit. I gotta go down this neighborhood. Oh, no way. That was the guy that lives here. Um, I gotta calm down and put my thought back in order. I thought something else so I got my license my third season and I'm glad I did I got tired of being held hostage by other companies that I was trying to use now I didn't contract other companies I didn't try to upsell their service I didn't uh, I re did straight referrals so it would be like yeah so-and-so here's their contact information I don't know what they charge 
and that's the way I did it. I didn't want to get tied into a subcontractor situation with other other lawn, and I'm glad I didn't because I, I think I got stiffed every single time I tried to use a company and the person would call and the person would all of a sudden say, I don't have time to take care of you or something oddball would happen. So my customers, you know, they'd be like, geez, we can't get anybody to, to do this or do that or they don't show up when they say they're going to show up and you find out real quick how uh, there's a whole lot of people that do not do what they say they're going to do. And they, uh, yeah, and that's not how I operate. If I say I'm going to do it, I do it. Um, if I can't, I can't. I turn work down, and I, I'm the kind of person I will say I cannot do that. And I know there's some other advice out there on people say, just go for it, take the job, and then worry about it. That's how you get a bad, a bad name for yourself. You take a job that you know you can't do, but you're like, oh, I'll figure it out. It's the entrepreneurial spirit. Well, that's also how you get freaking a bad name for yourself. And uh, word of mouth travels a lot faster than anything else. So I've built a good client base off of this guy does what he says. And he's honest. If he can't do it, he'll find somebody that can do it. So I got my license. I promoted it for a whole week on Craigslist. And word of mouth. I did two fertilizing weed control yesterday. I did one today. And I'm doing one on Friday because of the way the weather is looking. Looks like it's going to rain. I know tomorrow is a 60% chance. So, And I'm doing granular pre-emergent right now. I'm doing some weed um, roundup in the rock beds. But mostly it's just uh, I'm doing dimension. And... Uh, so yeah, I mean, without going into what I did on her property and blah, I'm not, I don't want to get too much into the money side of it. I'm just saying, just, if you can do it, do it, because it's going to pay for itself pretty quick. I mean, just in these four jobs I'll have this week, now the one of the jobs later this week, the one on Friday, that's going to be a fertilizer plus a, an aeration, uh, which is another service I added this year. But, uh just for the fertilizer jobs doing quick math in my head I've already paid for my license the the four fertilizer jobs this week pays for the annual fee for my license the license is pretty expensive here but yeah so tip if you're thinking of something you want to get into if you're thinking about ever building your business to sell your business, you may want to look at the the fruit and spray side of things because that's the uh, from some of my research. That's what companies look for when they're going into the buy. But uh, yeah, that's my advice. If you're going to uh, do lawn care and you even thought about fertilizing for a second and you have to get a license. Go get your license. I paid for it in four apps. Later.